Good morning. Let the games freaking begin. It's a beautiful morning. Where is it? I woke up at like 5.30 a.m. with the worst cramps of my life. My zip patch is clearly falling off. Look at these breakouts. And we have one of the fanciest events we've been to of our lives this weekend. In two days. We leave at 6 a.m. tomorrow. Thank you, hormones. This is the MTV true story of me trying to get my life together for this trip. Hold on, let's grab the coffee. Ooh, something tells me it's gonna be a good day anyway. It smells so good. I love my new Nespresso, and yes, by new I mean I bought it for myself for Christmas, but I still love it nonetheless. It's great. When I get my like worst, worst cramps, the only thing I can do, I literally just make myself a hot tub, like a tub bathtub, and I just like sit in it because it's like a water bottle, like a hot water bottle that covers my entire body. And so I was in the tub for like an hour, um, just kind of curled in a ball, and then I came out and then made myself tea and just tried to chill. And then I, my sister is um, like a physician's assistant. She told me I could take up to 800 milligrams of Advil because I'd taken Midol and it did nothing. So I took uh, 600 milligrams. She said that her husband's a doctor, and so she they said that anything over... 600 this is not this is not a substitute for medical advice i will not be held liable i'm just just i had to make a disclaimer i feel like people do that so it's probably important i don't know um like the last thing i need right now is for somebody to get hurt on my okay, on my watch but they said that anything over 600 like doesn't proven to be more effective so anyway i took 600 milligrams of advil and we're gonna make this day work i canceled my workout this morning because i just really felt like i couldn't and sparky's been staying here because he's sick and he just has been wanting to be like he's so sweet comforted so he's been like kind of camped out in my guest room and i've been bringing him like soft foods we don't quite know what's wrong with him but he was tested for like strep and all sorts of stuff and it's not covid so anyway we're a mess together anyway but he's so sweet even though he's not feeling well he woke up and he made me this little like hot bag with like a towel and like held it on my tummy and so i'm feeling better now thank goodness it's like 10 <gasps> it's 10 55 <laughs> i just realized i have an 11 a.m meeting let's pray that it's not video it's um for a project i'm working on for Instagram. We're just gonna drink our coffee and wish, hope, and pray that it's not a video call. Um, so I, my dress that I'm supposed to be wearing at the premiere this weekend. So I guess I'll like rewind. I'm going with Sunday Riley to the red carpet premiere of Downton Abbey in New York City this weekend. I haven't been to New York. I went once with Sparky for his friend's wedding briefly, but I used to go for work all the time. The last time I was there properly was Fashion Week 2019. I was there, I think I was uh, was speaking at CurvyCon or working or I don't remember. I had like a bunch of projects that week. So I haven't been back for a while. We're staying at a very fancy hotel apparently. Um, and there's a lot of exciting things. I'll be taking over the Sunday Riley Instagram stories, which is really exciting. So yeah, if you guys are a fan of the brand, maybe you'll see me there. I don't know if this, this probably won't go live until it's all over, but anyway, you'll be a part of the whole thing. So they just want to show me like getting my facial. It's going to be fun work for the facialist who I actually met when I was in London. I got a facial from her and she's incredible. And yeah, but my dress is nowhere to be found. Neiman Marcus, like they can't find it. They've been trying to get a hold of the manufacturer, nothing. The earrings I ordered canceled. Everything seems to be going wrong. Mercury retrograde is in full force. This is, this is the diary of me trying to pull this thing up. Also, I really do have to see if this, <gasps> my video call is a video call. I have to go. Right, my meeting is done and I somehow took it like this and just uh, accepted that this is me today. <sighs> okay, we're gonna take one sip of coffee and then we are going to somehow get stuff done. My dresses were supposed to arrive by noon and it's like 11 something, but I thought I heard some shuffling at the door. So we're gonna see if they're here. I'm hoping they are. I reached out to the brand because uh, Neiman Marcus is saying that the manufacturer is not answering them about where this dress is or whatever happened to it. And that's the manufacturer. The brand's like MacDougall, MacDougall or something. So I looked them up on Instagram and I just shot them a DM and I was like, hey, I'm um, having some trouble with my order. And they were like, email customer service. So I'm a sly little bean. And since this is for a premiere and I'm wearing it and mentioning it when I'm taking over stories and people are going to ask me what the dress is, I hope it's not bad that I decided to just like copy their social media team and their press team on the email. <laughs> I don't know, sometimes you don't get any traction unless you make a little noise. I don't ever like to do that, but sometimes you have to do what you have to do. 
the dress is amazing and none of the other dresses that I ordered felt special. So especially given all the special accessories and stuff I have planned and you guys know that I live to dress up. With that being said, let's go see if our dresses are here. They arrived! Ah! So I'm gonna make myself look a tiny bit more decent um, because I might as well shoot this. <laughs> Also, I decided to make that TikTok where it's from um, Freaky Friday. <laughs> so I thought I'd show you guys how it's going. Here's the first clip that I did. So it's me like right here. Here's the before. <laughs> and then I just have my camera set up. If you ever want like tutorials on this stuff, let me know. Um, but now I'm gonna go back and re-record the second clip as soon as I get ready. Um, and just so this thing bees quiet and I can continue my uh, cropping i'm just gonna like make my phone go quiet and hopefully it'll be there but don't mind all of my stuff everywhere but i'm gonna come back out of the door as soon as i'm ready so let's get ready do i have the time to film tiktoks today no are we still doing it duh now we just have to figure out this hair that is better let's open these dresses all right here's what we got I literally just was like, this could work, this could work, this could work, so we're gonna see. Okay, I just threw this on just to finish this transition and then I'm gonna try on the new dresses. I like this dress, but it's not fancy enough for red carpet. I did it, I acted, I lip sync. Let's see how it is, let's see how it worked. Way late. <laughs> Victory. And I just got a text that uh, my friend uh, Barbie's coming over. Okay, I did not want to get caught out um, naked. <laughs> so I didn't want to be trying things on. So I just threw on jeans and this shirt. I don't know if you guys remember this Song of Style shirt. I wore it on my um, Instagram stories probably and maybe in a picture when I did like a Song of Style little karaoke night when the Reval Social Club is open here. Anyway, so I thought I'd at least open the dresses and show you guys the dresses and at least so I can have them laid out and ready to try on because here's my predicament. I'm getting a spray tan at three and I can't like try them on because they'll get spray tan all over them. So I have to either wait till after I shower, which is way late tonight, or try to scramble and try them on before the tan. I should probably call and see if I can do that. This is just where we're at. So um, yeah, I got my nails done the other day, which I shared with you and I haven't done that forever. I was gonna try and get a facial, but I'm actually gonna get a Sunday Riley facial when I'm at the event, which is good. And then it's really just like packing for all the little ancillary events, packing, getting some sleep, getting my spray tan. Normally for a big event, I'd go to the K-Spa and get like a body scrub first. So my skin was super prepped, but I cut my finger really bad. And I haven't had a ton of time, and so I just was like, eh, I'll just give myself a scrub in the shower today. But for now, I'm going to prop this box up on another box, and let's see what we got. Literally was panic ordering, and I cannot remember what I got. This looks small, like as far as like how big the package is. I don't understand how a full-size dress could fit in here. What? what? This is so light and silky and airy. This is pretty. Here's our first option. So I guess I'll try this one on. Every car that pulls up, I think it's Barbie. I just don't know, I'm anxious, I don't know what to expect. Eyes on the prize, eyes on the prize. Guys, I posted my TikTok. <laughs> I have not been on TikTok lately and I never like do the little trends and stuff, I don't know. I'm just like kind of a low key. I'm not low key. I need, to, let's just move along. Let's just pretend like I didn't even say that. <gasps> this is pretty. Okay, this is by the brand Nookie, which I've never heard of and it has this like, elastic strap so this is like just like a fitted pink dress this is an option these just kind of the pink the purple one feels really nice quality the pink one feels like kind of cheap and i just don't want to look like prom girl like i want to look like red carpet girl you know what i mean let's see I, i'm literally staring out the window like really i was a barbie obsessor okay so this is like a big deal for me i feel like i'm a like a house dog see this is too dorky fairy princess you know what i mean like this is for love and lemons and it's stunning but i just feel like it's probably not the vibe for this sort of an activity i just don't know we're gonna keep opening you when i tell you i ordered everything you're gonna soon see that i literally ordered everything what's this one i literally couldn't remember either i can't remember what i got i gotta keep them nice this is my life savings just 
blue on a bunch of dresses. This is Amanda up Richard, which she seemed to have, like, she was, like, some of the only semi-curvy models on the Revolve website. This actually looks quite spacious, which is nice. So it's not me skin tight. This is just like a pink little one, one shoulder moment. I think I might just really need to rely on the accessories and the hair and makeup to be the moment and just keep it simple. There's nothing wrong with keeping it simple. I understand that my idea of keeping it simple is not someone else's idea of keeping it simple. Someone else's my idea of keeping it simple is probably gonna be something like wearing a black and all black elegant gown. Okay, well that's not, this is me keeping it simple. I think you guys probably know that by now. What, how does this even work? Is this, what is this? Best of luck, cause I have no idea. We'll see, it's kind of like a gold green. Oh, I forgot about this green baby. I love this green baby, but I didn't know if she went with like gold butterfly accessories, which is what I'm kind of banking on. Um, she also doesn't have a back, so we'd have to tape our own boobs. She's also very sheer at the bottom. Oh, <sighs> I got a lot to try on. Ooh, okay, I, I ordered some earrings. So this is the butterfly accessories. These are by Jennifer Bear. They're so beautiful. Well, they, I haven't seen them in person, okay? They, I've seen them only on the website, but I love them on the website. So I'm really hoping these are as spectacular in person as they look online. Oh <gasps> God, they are, I have goosebumps. Oh, they're even prettier. OMG, look, look how pretty. Can I get this to focus? Please focus. Look at how pretty these are. So this was my like inspo was to have like slicked back hair, a butterfly headband with butterfly earrings, like really leaning into that. What do we think? I don't know if that goes with the green. Isn't green more of like a silver moment? <sighs> we'll see. Okay, so these are stunning. There's two more dresses. <gasps> Ooh, I think this is a nice color. So obviously I wanted to wear something kind of like Spring inspired, colorful. Most of these are kind of like pastels except for that bright green. This is NBD brand, which I've had some things from them before I really like. I will say this fabric feels way too casual. It almost is like a woven like summer. It's not quite linen, but it, it kind of mimics that. It's like kind of similar. And so I'm gonna go ahead and say off the bat that even though this is pretty, it's gonna be way too casual. So it's fine, we'll still lay it out, we'll still give it a go, because these would be really great wedding guest dresses or other formal occasion dresses. So if I can try them on and they work for you guys, it's worth it to me. <gasps> I see sequins. Oh, and now I'm remembering. Okay, I ordered this dress, wishing, hoping, dreaming, praying that in any world it might fit because it this brand is australian and they are notoriously run small and they have different sizing than the us and so i got their extra large but their extra large is like a us 10 <gasps> and I, I think we know i'm a lot of things but a size 10 is not one of them so i'm not no this looks tiny look at that there's no way but i ordered it just on the off chance that it might fit it's so pretty though i'm gonna show you guys anyway it's this beautiful like corset style dress it's just like sheer and long and magical and i'll probably try it on anyway but there's literally zero stretch and i'm telling you already this my waist is not this tiny oh look it's like half of me mm, i'm sad goo i'll probably try to like put it on if by a miracle sisterhood of the traveling dress it fits but i'm not feeling optimistic i also need to check the time because i do need to start trying on these dresses or i am not gonna make it to my spray tan so one second also this is absolutely the last thing i should be prioritizing right now but i wanted to show you that these are the madewell jeans that i tried in tried on in the haul that i did and i think they look absolutely fire so very happy with them just thought i'd share so if you want to see me try these on and get the link for these they should either be in my like to know it or in my last like mega random assorted haul i don't know where barbie is but i'm trying on dresses um i'm wearing a random shaper thing i found in my room that has built-in period stuff sorry tmi but that's what's happening today so let's go ahead and start with the heartbreaker also, if I get a text from Barbie, I guess I'll put a robe on because I don't want to, like, get dressed again. Hell. Also, I forgot to put on deodorant today because I took a bath this morning because my cramps were so bad. Well, I just saw something. No, stop. She's not coming. Oh my gosh, I'm like a freaking dog waiting for its owner to get home. Yeah, this is not happening. This is the one um, from that brand I was 
telling you about that runs really tiny. Okay, it, I may be being dramatic. There's a tiny chance this could fit us. The lining has like the lightest bit of stretch to it, but it barely covers my butt. Okay, let's get to this part. No, dang it, let's just imagine, okay? Let's just like pretend. <gasps> look how beautiful it would be, but look. No, like not even close. Mm. Okay, I don't even understand what this is supposed to do and this is just clearly, no. My mustache is wetting and I'm genuinely nervous at this point. Okay, literally you guys, I was just putting this on and this literally just, I heard it rip. If, have I gained a lot, a lot of weight? Like I'm just super confused because nothing, like look at this, it literally won't. And I feel like I wear revolved pants all the time and the model looked curvy for this. But if you look at this, like this is not gonna zip and it's not gonna go down. And this is an extra large. Okay, we are 0 for 3. And I would honestly be lying if I didn't say that I'm kind of sweating it literally and physically at this point. Like I, I can't even make a joke because I'm actually freaking out. I literally took this one off before I even showed it to you guys because it wouldn't even, wouldn't even zip. Okay, so we are, we have nothing. This one's kind of stretchy. This is that brand Nookie. This one's gotta at least go on because at least it's stretchy. So listen, Mercury Retrograde period pain. I just like almost reopened this deep wound that I have. And I also have a core wound in my heart right now. Yeah, this isn't good. This one zipped at least. This is, the brand's called Nookie. I've never heard of it. Um, it zipped, but I just don't think it's like doing me favors. Like this just looks all lumpy and bumpy. And this is with shapewear. Like, ooh, I feel like it's kind of looking like prom and not like elegant red carpet vibes. I, yeah, I just don't think it's the move we have three more i don't i would literally rather wear something old from my closet that's not even fancy enough probably than wear this because it's just not right Alrighty. so this one is a maybe i first i got really excited at first because first of all i went over my body isn't it sad when you get excited when something fits you and you don't care if it looks good and you haven't even thought about anything else other than mm, it actually went on my body cool it's by Silk Roads. It's again from Revolve. And I took my bra off because I didn't, I thought that it was gonna be too low in the back for a bra, but in reality, I probably could wear a bra. I'll probably do like sticky boobs or boob tape, but it's a really pretty, delicate, floaty silk. I definitely need to like get some wrinkles out of it. It's really pretty, but it's not long enough. Like it's not, I feel like a gown, something like that needs to be like a full length moment. So this feels a little informal. Like while the dress is really pretty and I actually think it fits pretty well. I like this little tie. I think it would really go with the gold butterfly motif. It's too short, right? It needs to be like a gown, right? To feel formal. <sighs> I guess this is like a maybe, but I'm not 100% sure. I literally have to leave for my spray tan appointment or I won't make it. So I don't have time to try this one on, but it's like a bodysuit with mesh over it, which feels like really cute for going out, but it doesn't feel elegant for something like this. So it's probably going to be a no anyway, but I can try to try it on after my spray tan. And I don't think it goes with my accessories. So then I'd have to like completely rethink that. I think I'm just going to have to shop my own closet later, which is fine. I, I know I have like a really pretty, like all sequin dress, but it doesn't go with the accessories either. So... I have no idea what we're gonna do. But the only time I can get a spray tan is now. So maybe should I, should I just forfeit my spray tan? Guys, I don't know what to do. I feel like I always have good happy endings. And I know this isn't that big of a deal in the scheme of life, but it feels like a big deal to me right now. Today has been a wild goose chess. I am in the car, my angel boyfriend offered to drive me nearly an hour. I've been like calling all these little boutiques in LA. Good news is the next time there is a formal occasion for one of uh, one a curvy or plus size babe, I have a lot of suggestions for us. So that's the good news. Um, the bad news is like I've spent most of my day DMing people, scrambling, trying to figure out where I can go to try something on, but now I can't actually physically put things on because of my spray tan. So, you know, it's just one of those days. All that just to discover that a dress I already own in my closet is the one I'm gonna wear. Isn't what 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 life lesson is that teaching us? Maybe the lesson is that all we need is already within our closet. Like trust what you already have. You have you have enough. Maybe this is like a scarcity mentality lesson for me. Anyway, 
we're gonna just wear a dress that I already own. Makes things pretty simple. Yeah, I'm so excited. So, um, my jewelry came today, uh, and I feel like this, so this is the headband, and then this is an earring. So, I'm just absolutely in love. And luckily they actually go with this dress that I already have. Um, and I think it's like a perfect like monochromatic vibe. So if I do very like golden-y makeup, I think it's gonna be really pretty. It'll just be focused on like glowing skin. <gasps> you guys look, it's gonna be fine. I really do think I learned a lesson. And my friend just sent me this TikTok, which I'm gonna show to you right now, cause it's so good. Reminder, you don't have to lose any weight before your next big event on your calendar. You can just go as you are right now. And if you've been waiting to go shopping because you wanted to be five pounds lighter before you fit into a new cool outfit, you don't have to do that either. Just go shopping right now. You're going to look great. You're going to have the best time. Okay, bye. It's what I wanted to put into words and uh, didn't have to and couldn't. And we all are just walking each other home. So my sweet friend sent that to me because I was feeling some kind of way after all those dresses wouldn't fit. And um, none, no one is immune from it. Even someone who's been working on it and has made an actual living feeling good in her skin. So just a reminder that we are all figuring it out. We are all walking each other home and we are all okay as we are. Y'all, I'm about to be fancy. I just called to see if they happen to have a steamer because I was worried I'm just gonna do a hand carry luggage and I didn't wanna have to bring my steamer because it takes up a lot of valuable space in a small luggage. And sure enough, they're gonna place a steamer and she's like, is there anything else? I'm like, do you have coffee? She's like, we can put an espresso in there. Yes. She's asking me what kind of pods I want. This is a very fancy hotel and I can't, I haven't stayed in that many very fancy hotels. So I'm pretty excited about this. They just FaceTimed me and I did an unboxing of my uh, purse. I showed them my dress. Come on, let's see you, lady. Let's see ya. Where are you? Ah, there she is. You got her? Yes. <laughs> uh, we, we were, I was kind of packing and then he started playing guitar and then I started singing. And now all the day, neighborhood dogs and cats are crying and wailing. It's not a bad sign. I on. think it's probably a bad sign. <laughs> oh, it's like just shy of 4 a.m. Waking up early is not my strong suit, but I'm very proud that I got all of the contents of what I'm wearing the next four days in New York in this tiny little carry-on. Um, and I'm just packing up my backpack and we're heading out. My babes, we made it, we're in the room. Ah! And I may have just ordered sushi, and I may have ordered sugarfish, which I heard is a big New York no-no, but I had to, because I'm obsessed with sugarfish in LA, and after a long travel day, I was really craving sushi, but every time I bring it up to a New Yorker, they're like, ew, it's gross. So I'm like, well, I'm gonna see if I can corroborate this. However, it did get all jumbled in the Uber driver's like backpack, so it's not looking good. <sighs> Long travel day, had some delays on my second flight, but so glad to be here. Whenever I'm traveling for work and it's a long day, I like to just give myself a night to like chill out. There's actually a big bathtub here, which is super nice. And this room is actually super big for New York. So I thought I would just show you guys. Tub. I'm gonna be eating all my treats and getting a really good night's sleep um, because I haven't really slept the last couple nights. And uh, I'm gonna end this vlog here and then I will start when I check into the fancy hotel tomorrow and start all the exciting activities for this weekend with Sunday Riley. Thanks for uh, following me along on my journey of the dress debacle and everything else. We're gonna get through it. I feel like, like I said, my biggest takeaways are we have what we need and I'm just gonna trust that I'm here and I'm going to, you know, just reset myself so I can um, really be excited about meeting new people and having fun and soak up this entire experience because I'm very grateful to be back in New York after a long time. I love you guys. I will catch you on the next video.